The monsoon is officially underway and we all know that it can lead to sites like this. Someone trapped out in a wash. Drivers trapped by fast moving waters and it can get really dangerous. Sure can and Valley rescuers spend all year preparing for dangerous situations just like these. Today Team 12's Brian West got a first hand look at some of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office's monsoon training. Brian. An MCSO tells us that they never know what they're going to find when they go out on these rescue missions. Somebody could be in a car, in a house, on top of a car or a house. So they run these simulations all the time. This morning, the objective, though, was to rescue a man who is on top of that white container. You know, the cargo container simulates a car top. MCSO is conducting training drills, getting ready for the start of monsoon. Because when rushing floods take over parts of the valley, it is up to these rescuers to be prepared. When we move in, we don't want to bump the car, so we're going to hover right next to it, and then the crew in the back will extricate or get the person inside. So they're nervous, they're scared, some of them jump. So we practice our hand signals, talking on the PA, doing things like that. We want to make sure they're coming in. Common rescues include saving people from houses and from cars. Car top rescues, you know, you just don't have time to set up and do much. You move in, you get them out of there as fast as possible. Again, we've had past footage where the cars are just literally go downstream after we get them out of the car. No two rescues are ever the same. So these rescuers have to prepare for anything and everything. We never get perfect conditions like today. That We're on night vision goggles, the wind, the rain, the, the, the terrain, there could be mountains, could be in a valley, they could be struggling, they could literally be already be in the water. In Phoenix, Brian West, 12 News.